And we'll start by just holding your weight, taking them over your legs, and then start to curl yourself forward. So you're gonna curl yourself over your legs here. And then pulling yourself back up. And again, reach over, pull into your lower abdominal, press your feet to the mat and lift back up. A couple more like that, thinking, pulling into the center, reaching it back. Last one, pulling, stack it back. You'll start to curl down as your arms float up into the air, rocking your pelvis back, scoop under, press your feet to the ground, and pull yourself up and over, reach back over the feet to the ankles. Same thing, start to slide it down. As you roll back, you'll start to lift your arms, pressing the lower belly into the rib cage, pulling back up and open over. So we're getting a little bigger here. As we roll back, scoop abdominals and shoulders, draw in, try to get the lower part of your back to the mat, and then press and lift back up and over. Couple more like that, pull in, reach the armpits down, reach the back down, tap it, pull into the belly button, lift and return. I'm just gonna take my legs together here to get some Tension, pull and you'll untuck the pelvis, hold, lower there. Start to take the right arm up, hold and return. Back is pressing strong into the mat, lift the left arm up and return. And lifting right and left. Press both feet down, curl through the spine, lift up and over, round it down. We're going back for more. Pull through that belly button. You're going to reach the right arm out to the side. Palm faces the center and return back in. Palms will face each other. Reach the left arm out and pull it back in. Still stay lifted in that upper body to avoid that neck pain. And try to do one more each side. Reach it back and up. And reach back and up. Palms face the floor. Pull into the low belly. Round it over. We're gonna to start to come all the way down to the floor. Pulling in, rounding your spine, reach the arms back behind you and extend the arms overhead. Start to bring the arms forward. Ribs come together, curl the head, neck and shoulders up, reach for the toes, go for that roll up past the feet, big stretch. Start to untuck your pelvis, rounding down, drawing the armpits in towards the sides and reach arms behind. Inhale, exhale, arms forward, chin to chest, curl and reach and lift, no momentum. Untuck and draw down, feel the low back really tuck under to place your spine stacked. Two more here, chin to chest, curl and reach and lift. And untuck and round to go down. Ah, you'll take those weights behind you for a moment and then take your hands behind your head. You'll start to curl the head, neck and shoulders up. Holding the shape. And then draw the right knee into the mat, firmly place it, draw the left knee in, extend the right out long, extend the left out long, same thing. Draw the right and draw the left, send it down and down. One more time, shoulders drop in, head is heavy. Pelvis is staying in neutral. We go for the left side first, draw in, and in, press away and away. Can you lower the shoulders more away from your ears? One more time, starting with the left. Good, you'll keep it there, flex those feet, lift up an inch higher and lower and lift, lift and up for five, four, Three, two, 
and one, take it back, lower the head all the way. And we'll reach up behind you, grab your weights. You'll take your weights right over the arms, right over your shoulders and right over, knees right over hips. Start to lower down the right toes, tap the left arm behind and reach it back to center, opposition. Reach away, keeping that neutral pelvis and return. Take the right arm left and return. And opposition, tap and up. So the legs are like weights, just allowing them to go down and up. The core is controlling it. We have four. And back in. Three. In. For two. And one. Good. Squeeze those legs together. Both arms and legs reach back behind, pull into the belly button, fold the legs back in the center. Same thing, reach them out. Draw the rib cage closer to the mat, draw the low belly closer. We have squeeze for four. Good, can you pull that belly button in and up, wrap around you, three. Don't tuck those hips, stay neutral for two. And last one, all the way up. Grab onto the legs, just give it a little hug. Taking the legs all the way back down, reaching the arms over. Inhale here. Exhale, start to bring your arms to the sides. It will lift you up, curling through the belly button, turn the wrist, reach further past the feet all the way down for that roll up reach the arms overhead they come side and it lifts you up pull in rotate down and forward curl through reach away they come side and up reach and rotate forward round down two more up and out they come up, rotate and reach. One more time. Roll down, reach up inside. Curl and rotate forward. Good, start to round down one at a time. Pull the right knee in. We're gonna start to cycle those legs. Now I want you to stare at your belly button. Letting the leg really lengthen down Pelvis is in neutral. Now start to pull that belly button into the spine. Try to lift yourself up higher and you're gonna go for that seamless transition of lifting here. And start to curl through the pelvis to return with ease. Press the lower back into the mat and lift yourself up. Pull it under you to go down. One more time. Reach that airway, lift it up. Pull it in to go down, stay there, reach up an inch higher, take the arms overhead, reach the legs out, and return back in. And go out. Can you draw that belly button into your ribs more for three? Chin is in, stay lifted for two. Core strong, last one, one. And take the arms down, knees into your chest. Ah, you'll take the legs all the way to the mat. Bend your knees, start to bridge your hips up, lift the hips. Start to curl it back down on that exhale, feel each part of your spine. And again, you'll curl and lift up. Tighten the glutes, round it back down. One more time with a variation, lifting it up. Right leg will float up into tabletop. You're gonna send the hips down, round through the spine, press and lift back up. Rounding it down, press with the heel, lift up in one piece. Round through the back, press with the heel and lift. Round and up, use the back of that leg for three. 
and lift for two and lift last one lift hold extend the leg straight reach and kick it out flex it out reach it out and flex and kick for three and two and one bend it in again round through the spine switching legs curling through send it up taking the left knee to the chest round through the spine press with the right foot lift and curl it down bottom leg sends it up peel through that spine and lift focusing on the evenness in your hips so you can peek down at your belly button and just make sure those hips are in line for three and two hold it here one take that leg up lengthen it send it down flex and kick up one we go for five four three two one bending that leg back in round through the spine coming down grab the back of the legs lift yourself up grabbing let's cross the feet today and grab your feet so you're going to hold your balance you'll rock all the way down and all the way up and curl it under stay rounded as you lift here we go for four and up three nice for two one stay lifted cross the other leg in front grab onto it pull and go again rock back and up keep that rounded spine four for three two last one gonna take the feet together take a stretch forward Pressing the knees out to the side. Good, we'll cross your legs in front of you, grabbing onto your weights. Taking your arms out to the side and hold. Holding them together and reaching them just halfway out. So you want to anchor those armpits. You don't want them all the way back. You want to keep them a little forward. Pulling in and reach out, anchor those arms and pull in and out. And can your spine grow even taller here? For five and four, three, two, one, take them out to the sides, rotate. You'll send them up. Bend your elbows, take it down, bring it back up and down. You wanna to try to touch those weights facing, weights are facing together. Uh, the sides of them are together. You're bringing them back behind your head and up. Elbows wider so that you don't have to move your head when you bend them down and extend. That's hard. Pull them in back together for three, press it up. For two, it's that resistance of pushing down and up at the same time. Let's do two more. But take it all the way out, crossing the other leg in front. Take a stretch forward with your weight so it gives you a little bit of momentum forward. Take it all the way back behind you, weights behind your body. Press with your feet, squeeze your weights and lift up. Opening the chest, pull in, start to curl through the spine slow, bring it back down and lift it back up. Lift, holding onto those glutes, return and lift up. Little variation here, take one leg out straight, other leg out straight, hold your body up, bring your shoulder blades together, tuck under for five, four, three, two, one. Take it down all the way, 
reach the arms out to the side, two twists, one, two, and center, and one, two, and reach up. Good, so palms facing down first to start, and one, two, pull the mid back together and shoulders. One more this side, and now flip your palms, soft bend to your elbows, go for one, two, and center, one, two, reach that second one gets a little deeper as you squeeze the legs together one more each side and last one there but reach the arms forward start to curl through bringing that right leg up you'll bring the weights together and switch tap switch tap good looking down at the belly button you're bringing the arms out and in Draw those shoulders down for two, one. Now just flip your palms other way. Soft bend to your elbows. Kick and kick and kick for five, three, and one. Take the knees into chest, lower down with the head. Let it, let's bring the arms all the way out to the sides and let your knees fall over side. Take that twist, big inhale, exhale, scoop the abs in and up over to the other side. And exhale, lift up. And exhale, lift, one more here. And reach it up. Good, now no weight. We'll start to curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Reach towards the hips, extend the legs out. Now start to lower the right leg down, start to pump. Inhale here. Big exhale, start to lift that leg up. Press the belly button deeper to the mat, lower the left, inhale. Keep the pelvis neutral, exhale, lift up. Inhale down, big pumps. Exhale, lift up. Can you flatten that sacrum even more? And exhale, lift. One more time each leg. Exhale, up. Last one here. And up, bring it in. Open the legs to the side and little circles. And reverse, just feel that tailbone heavy, sacrum heavy. You'll reach those legs out long against the corners of your mat, taking the arms to a V shape. And let's grab your weights for this too. So X shape with your arms, as long as you have kind of um, lower weight, you'll start to lift the opposite arm and leg up and return back down and lift up and tap and reach it back and lift. Good. so hips are staying neutral. We're still trying to keep a flat sacrum as we reach the extremities together and reach up and lift. Maybe you can get all the way to the side of that leg and go higher. And let's go for that. Reach and go up. Here we go for four and three. Two and one, keeping the legs apart on the sides of your mat, reaching your arms forward over your head, start to curl through and reach for the center. Stacking through the spine, reach it here. Exhale, curl, start to bring the arms to the floor, reach it forward, all the way forward. Curl it back in and stack one more time. Round through the spine, reach and dive. Pull back into your abdominals, lift it up. But take your arms out to the side, twist all the way, reach past that foot. Keep that back arm high. Two pulses there, one, two, and lift up. Twist and go over, one, two, and lift. 
and twist. Pull into that opposite side and reach over. Aim for that tricep strength. Squeeze that arm in the back. Keep it lifted. Good. We just have four. Lots of mid-back working. And three. For two, lift that back arm. And one. All the way up. Take it down. Last thing for these um, legs together. Last thing for this upper body strength right here. Bend your elbows. Start to reach for the ankles. Curl down. As far as you can get, really get the stretch. Curl back into your back, just like that last exercise. Now arms are in line with your shoulders. And once you hit that flat back, stop. Lift the arms up. And reach up out as the neck grows taller to the sides. Again, bend your elbows, think rowing something forward. Pull back in your belly button and your chest as you send your arms to the ankles. Reach as far as you can go, nose to knees. Roll back up. Arms come with you. They stack in line with your shoulders and pause. Lift it up to the ceiling and reach out to the sides. Two more times. Row. Pull back in the belly button as your nose goes to knees. Stretch and reach. Stack your arms. Stack your body back up like goo of your spine. Hold. Squeeze those weights. Lift them high and reach open. Last time, reach it down and curl over. Stack to your spine. Reach the arms up. And go over. Good, taking the arm out to the sides. You're gonna bend your left leg, keep your right straight, right arm on the mat. You're gonna lift yourself up, find the shape. Could really send the pelvis forward. Yep, that's it. Start to bring it down. And again, you're gonna reach it back up. Lift. Open, maybe you can reach all the way back. Good, bring it down. We switch legs. Bending your right knee, left leg straight, left arms on the mat. Lift up with the right, reach the pelvis up to that diagonal. Open the body. Use your glutes. Start to bring it back down. Press with that foot and reach and lift up. Get that opening in the whole body. Good. Taking it back down. I'm gonna turn around onto your stomach. And we'll come into this. Reach out into the corner, so into this X shape. Talking through your hips. We'll lift your upper chest and your legs up. Lift up and hold that shape. Tuck your pelvis under you and return. Same thing, scoop under, lift up. Hold for three, two, one, lower down. Same thing, two more. So depending on your low back tightness today, you might not go as high, and that's okay. And lower, last time here, lifting it up. We're gonna go for this swim, opposite arm, opposite leg. Shoulders are down, you're looking straight to the floor. Neck is in line for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, take it down. Let's tuck the tops of your toes. You're gonna to press up into plank in one piece. So use those abdominals, press to the floor, and lift up. You're in that plank. You're gonna to start to rock forward and back, point and flex. For three, two, one, hold it that neutral. You'll bend your elbows all the way down, resist the floor, pull the belly and you're lowering to the floor. Lift your arms up in one piece, bring your shoulder blades together. Press the arms back to the mat, tuck the toes, lift up, resist the floor, hold. Rock forward and back. Think about the armpits pulling away from your body for two and one. One more time, bend the elbows all the way, resist. 
Come to the floor, lift up, hold them back together. Press to the floor, scoop the belly in and lift up and hold. Now try to get that neck in line with your spine. Rock forward and back for four, three, two, and one. Resist the floor, come back down. And now take a cobra, lift that upper back up. Press it back, find a child's pose, legs together, forehead to the mat. And we're gonna just do in this exercise that I posted earlier. You'll start to curl through your spine, all the way past your arms, bring your body to the floor, find that cobra with the legs apart. Open the chest, start to curl through the spine, reach back, press the floor away. And again, curl through the back, round your spine until you can't go anymore and then start to open it up. Open the chest, pull the armpits back behind you, squeeze your butt, and then round your spine back again. We have one more, press against the mat, curl forward, Reach and open the body. Tuck and squeeze your butt and send it back. And come all the way onto your forearms. You're going to take this left foot behind you. So you can either be straight with your arms or together in a prayer, whatever feels best. You'll bring that left foot into a little bend, reach it up. Poke the ceiling with that toe and lift and poke and poke. Now try to tuck your hips under you so you're feeling that resistance. And send it up. And this one builds a little bit. So just try to keep reaching into that upward space. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to hold it up, extend the leg out and point it in. But flex and extend, point and come in. Flex it out and point. Now watch that upper body. Are you sinking down or trying to keep it lifted? Reach out and pull in, leg stays high. You have four and pull, three, two, Hold it down on one, little pulses up with that straight leg, flex leg. Up, up for four and three, two and one. Good, take it all the way in. Let's, before we do the other side, just come on to a forearm plank and hold. Scoop into that belly button. You'll bring your chest down and reach it up and down and up. Down for four, three, two, one. Press it back. Find this high child's pose. So send the hips up and try to stretch out your mid back by sending it to the floor. Finding the mid back pull together. And before we do that other side on your knee, you're going to come down all the way to this position here. Let's take it all the way down to your uh, bicep. You're gonna take one weight. So we will go back to that side, but you're gonna place the weight on top of whatever leg was just working. So your left leg is on top. And then you'll start to lift both legs up and lower. Yeah, whatever side was poking up to the ceiling, lift and bring it down, pull the belly button in to go up. And the weight is really pressing on your side. And lift, try to imagine that low belly ending up. For four, into that opposite inner thigh, three, two, hold it there on one, zip the belly button in, and coming back down. Now press your bottom arm into the mat. You're gonna to start to lift your upper body up, bring the weight towards your, your toes. My arm is pressing down, armpit is up, and return. 
and lift as you press down and go for it. And go up, peel yourself. But you can also draw that arm if it goes any further and lift. And it's meant to resist for four and three, two, one, hold it up, little pulses there. Maybe you can lift the legs for five, four, pulse them together, three, two, and one. Take it down. Good. We'll go to the other side. Let's just find a little stretch as you reach the leg up position and then take the arm up and over and you're really going to feel that. Okay, we'll come back onto the forearms. Now you should be in the right position of the face. You'll take your right foot behind you, tuck under in parallel, lift up so you're in this position and you'll start to just poke that foot towards the ceiling. We want to try and squeeze that booty and activate the hamstring. That pelvis is pulling in and up to resist so we're not arching the back. For four, three, two, Hold it there. You'll flex the foot extend and point to draw it in. Flex it out and point. And this is a moment where you can just check in with that upper body. Are you sinking down or are you holding yourself up? Head is in line with your spine. Knee is not sinking down, staying upright. And you're making this nice and hard for yourself. For four and in and three. For two, last one, you'll hold that flex, little pulses up, straight leg, parallel, scoop under, hip is pointing down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, find that forearm plank, lift up and hold, and now start to walk your hands in so they're facing now together. Yep, so you'll start to twist, open your arm up, bring it back to that plank. Twist other side open, and bring it back down. Twist open, lots of mid back today. And twist to go up. Here we go for two, and one. And you lower those knees, take it to the side, Grab your weight all the way to that other side bicep. Stack it on top, lift the legs and lower. Drawing the hip bones closer together on either side as you wrap around to go up and lift. Try to work it more by pressing into your legs with the weight. Pull and do up. Goodness, six, use that lower belly. Five, four, three, two. Last one there, hold, reach it down, start to draw yourself up. Press into the floor, reach with that weight and return and draw it up. So bottom arm is working just as hard to press into the floor. Yeah, getting some of that tricep and reach. And go up. And the arm is reaching back behind you so you're not using your neck at all. For three, and two, hold it there on one, try to lift the legs up, pulse them together, lift, 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 lift for five, two, and one. 
spray it down all the way over. Let's um, rotate onto your back. And if your other weight is near, grab both of them. You'll stretch yourself out. I'm gonna go for a little teaser. You'll reach your arms over your head. Start to curl through the spine, reach the arms around. All the way up, legs lift, start to keep pulling through the body. Squeeze your heels, slight opening of your toes. Now try to pull deeper with your belly button so you're rounded in your spine. Upper chest is lifted, lower back is rounded. Curl through and come all the way to the floor. Reaching the arms around, curl and go up, no momentum. Pull through that back and lift, keep that lower back rounded. Take the right arm, reach it back to the side and return back to center. Left arm back and return. Squeeze those heels, reach out. Squeeze and reach out. One more each side. Out. I know that's hard. Out. And start to curl deep to the belly button. Woo! Bring it down. Let's take your arms by your sides, no weights. We'll lift your legs up and over, pull the knees in and lift. Stretching all that out. Separating your toes, trying to reach your toes to the floor as you flex them. And now pull deeper to your sternum as you start to flow down to the floor. Triceps are strong. Feel each part of your back touch. The legs come halfway down. They pull together, reach up and over. Separate and flex. Draw those arms strong to the mat. Curl down. Slow. One more time, little variation. Come up and over, lift. Start to reach the legs straight up to the ceiling. Squeeze your booty. Pull the stomach strong. Reach the legs back over. Maybe you go only halfway, maybe all the way, whatever is best, and then start to curl through the back as you round down. The higher the legs, the harder it's gonna be. Chin away from your chest, all the way to the mat. Excellent, bring the knees in. Just take a happy baby stretch there. Grab onto the sides. Really try to imprint the low back to the mat. Little rock side to side there. You'll bring your legs together. Start to bring your hands in prayer position, wrap around your ankle. So you're here, you're gonna go through the center and then wrap around. We'll start to rock yourself up until you're up. You'll take your legs, clap three times. One, two, three. Keep that rounded spine, go back. Clap three times in the air. One, two, three. And up. One, two, three. Don't let yourself come back down unless you have three claps. So it takes a lot of focus. Pull into that low stomach to try to balance yourself up there and reach back, pull. Keep that rounded spine for three more chances. One, two, three. Can you bring your chest open a little more? Last one, I'm even struggling here. And one, two, three. Then take your legs apart, open wide straddle, and take your arms into the waist. So reach back behind, grab them. Wide straddle, split here, I'll face the front. Oh, take your arms up to the sides. Balance the arms, little circles. Ah, sending the knees back behind you, reaching along the arms and reverse. And last little bit of upper body. Then we go for a little bit more of the glutes and then we're done and reverse. Now getting a little bigger with those circles for three, two, and one, send it up and over. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it around. Take a stretch forward. Knees reaching back behind you. Big 
big breath in, big breath out, get heavier in the pelvis. Can you inch your fingers a little bit more forward? Big breath in and big breath out. Start to walk it back up. Swing your legs behind you. Come into this downward facing dog. Anchor through the heels. Really send the hips back. You're going to start to lift your right leg up to the ceiling. You're reaching it out to the side. You're going to tap it down. Reach it all the way back up behind you. And reach it out to the side. Tap it down. Lift side to go back up. And again, side tap. And lift. Two more. Little upside down won't hurt you. Last one. No, I want you to take it halfway. So on that diagonal shape, let the toes relax and just lift it up and down. Reach into that up space. Lift, lift for five, four, three, two, one. Take a hover, bring it forward all the way in. Send it to the side of that leg. Take your pigeon stretch. Big deep breath in. Send it out, empty your lungs. All the way out, feeling all the blood rushing back to the body. Fresh new cycle of blood. Taking the hands back to the mat, we have that other side. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see. Press into the hands, lift yourself back up. Taking the left leg high. You will reach around like a rainbow, tapping it down. Lift it high to go back up. And around, tap nice and slow. Lift it back up. For three, strong arms, shoulders press away from the ears. Two, last one. Go to that halfway mark to the corner, relax the toes, pulse it up. Reach into that corner space. Up, up for eight, seven, six, Go in double time, five, four, three, two, oh, one. Start to pull the knee in, round your back, hover off the ground, slowly return that leg down. Ah, oh, dive forward into the pigeon. Take a big inhale here. Big exhale out. And last breath here. Take it back to that forearm plank and just clear the way as we end this strong. Let's take the hands to prayer. Pull the belly button in, reach the right toes around, tap side, bring it back to center. Tap that left foot side and bring it back, tap and tap, but use your waist to go a little bit further than you think you can. Hips stay low and reach out. And in, good, we just have four more. Press those palms together. Three, two, one. Bend your knees, press it back and really round your spine, press into the floor. Separating the legs here. Start to curl through the spine as slow as you can. The arms start to come towards your knees as the pelvis reaches forward at the same time. Tap your toes there and reach it back down. Again, start to curl through. 
This is really nice for the flexibility of your spine. It'll make your low back feel great. Tuck under even deeper. Pull into your abs and reach it back. Two more, curl under. Chin to chest, scoop the pelvis under, tap those knees and reach back. Last one, this one's gonna take you up. Curling through, scoop underneath with your hips, round it up and roll your shoulders back. Good, let's take the arms together, clasp them, reach it back, open the chest. 